I'm back. I had way too much uh, fun listening to the music. I made the intermissions especially for this game. Because I was in a mood. An 80s mood. How are you liking this so far, guys? Hi, Queen. I brought you with the candy. I'll give you a quick candy. Hey, Bar Walker. <gasps> Good morning for Canada, but donuts. <gasps> I want donuts. I should get donuts. The good ones. The good ones. Yes. Love everything about this. I'm obsessed. Me too. There you go, Quinn. I love this very much. Uh, I actually... I'm gonna play this entire game. Not today. I'm just gonna do about two more hours of this. See how far we get. And then next... Um... Next week we're, we'll probably finish it. I don't know how long this game actually is. <sighs> the shower camera for the time machine will be available for purchase in four days. I need to earn as much money as I can by that day. Hey, Magdivine. Hello. Hey, Chris. Look what I brought. Whoa, what's that? This is a pile of broken alarm clocks? Yeah, bro, I broke them myself. In a fit of rage? Or in a fit of inspiration? I'm paving your way to victory, bro. Try to repair them as fast as you can. Wait. Did you buy them just to break them? Of course. I don't live in my clock house. What a brilliant idea. Thank you. Why do you think I need to practice speedy repairs? I have my sources. Just in schizophrenia is not a reliable source. Wow, that's Chris, that's a bit rude. Everything will be tip top. A girl I know from work let it slip that the contest would include the speed test. She's a real geek and stays on top of all the tech news. Oh. She's a reliable source, trust me. Okay, let's assume there will be speedy repairs. Do you intend to keep breaking stuff just so I can practice? Who's here to stop me? I am. It's no good. Spending your own money on it. I'm sure it'll pay off. Go ahead. Fix them. Uh, When you get something in your head, nothing short of a meteor strike can stop you. Here's a lizard calling it Dino Scaly. Here are the repairs conditions as I heard them. You'll be given limited time to fix as many items as possible. Only correct repairs count. I don't think I can... Don't think! Just do it! And fast! Good thing I have the fastest hands in the Wild West. I'm a machine! You're a machine! Here are some new songs for your phone to help you chill at work. <gasps> really? The band is called Lizard Lounge and is the best new jazz out there. Thank you. How do you like it? Oh, it's smooth. Very smooth. Oh my goodness. Oh. Alright, alright. I just love this sex solo. I bet you do. I have excellent taste in music. No, you were smooth? Ha! Ah! Tick tock, I guess. Hi again. I'm about to start speedy repairs. You know, the shorter the limp, the faster it moves. You got, you've got victory in the bag. I enjoyed watching your face when it breaks. When it, <laughs> what? I enjoy watching your face when I crack the arms jokes. Would pouring hot glue on your interface make you more attached to me? I suggest an arm miss this. <laughs> I'm gonna get to work. Do you have a timer? What am I to you? A microwave? I'm a hijack gadget, and you demand such base functions. But you do have a timer? I do. Then I rely on you to track time. Fix as many alarm clocks as possible. Three, two, go. Oh god. Um. Music 
music is so chill. Alarm clocks do I have? Oh. What? What do you think of my results? It's a bit for victory, dude. With this speed, I'm sure you'll do a stellar job at the fest. Haha, <laughs> you haven't seen me use these hands at night. Wait, what? That's probably for the better. Well, uh, I'm gonna practice tomorrow. Are you going to break some more alarm clocks? It's not impossible. They will bring dividends. In a day's time, you have to demonstrate your skills at the festival. Get ready. How's your retire how is your entry for the creative writing contest doing? Glad you mentioned it. I brought a new version of the story. So I took your advice and I gave the main character a reason to fight, bro. Okay. He travels from planet to planet to save his girlfriend. She was kidnapped by aliens while trying to save her, and our hero saves whoever is in range. Sounds like a very personal story. Isn't it a great idea? He isn't having the world in general. He's saving what matters most to him. The rest he does along the way. This is certainly a solid beginning. I haven't yet figured out why the aliens kidnapped his girlfriend. Any suggestions? Um... They're forced to abduct people by yet another even more powerful civilizations? Hmm, the plot thickens. I like the experiments. They need her for sinister experiments to create a new species. Wow, that sounds cruel and enticing. It's the beginning of an amazing space saga. It also sets a somber, dark atmosphere that literally envelops, envelops the reader. Yeah. Immersing them in a world full of secrets and mysteries. Yeah. This sounds cool. I'm certain I'll win the first prize. Oh, and another thing. The main character needs a unique weapon. Something to fight evil and save planets with. Uh, what could it be, bro? The movie version. Oh, his family's blasts are handed down from father to son. They're full of secrets. Yes, please. I mean, a cannon that warps time and space and creates black holes, sure. But that this, this, I mean, that's what this one. His family's blasts are. Make it more personal. Oh, epic and symbolic. The blaster reminds him of his family. And the father gave it to him, to the main character, when he deemed him worthy. Yeah, bro. Now he carries the burden of responsibility for the entire universe. Wow, so cool. I can't wait to go home and write a new version based on your ideas. The contest juror will be blown away, bro. But blow away myself. It's gonna be awesome. Best of luck in conquering the reader's hearts. Oh, I'll do that. I'm bursting with ideas, so I better run. Trying to spill them. Bye, bro. I'm curious where the plot is gonna go. In a couple of days, I'll hear the final version of our story. Oh, hi. Hi, janitor. Oh, hi, I missed you. Really? 
Who's the inspired freak that ran out of your shop a moment ago? He's my childhood friend. Really? You're lucky to have old friends in a new city. When you have someone you can rely on, it helps a lot, whether in a new city or in life in general. You got a point, janitor. A very good point. What's your friend's name? Justin. Has a nice ring to it. Um, what I meant to say is, it's a common name. Tell me, did you manage to take care of that bozo who's been smashing up your window? I realized that I just needed to find a better approach. He's troubled because he cannot find the proper application for his strength. If you speak heart to heart and point out his good qualities, he actually turns out to be a nice fellow. Ah, are you blushing? So you're not only a janitor, but also a homegrown shrink. I respect guys who follow their own path. I respect you. Okay, so let's cut to the chase. A friend of mine asked me to get this fixed. Here. Is that a cute puppy feeder that I see? Yes, this is a cute feeder for my friend's puppy. Why is the feeder pink? Because a friend of mine likes pink. Of course you don't like pink. Of course I don't like pink. Nonsense. What would a friend of yours need a puppy feeder for? I've been wondering about that myself. Such a mysterious friend. Yeah, a living enigma. Let's get to fixing. So, let's find out what's wrong with the feeder. Investigation! Alright. Uh, does it receive a signal from remote control? There's no remote control. It works on a timer. So, there's no remote control? No. Not even a super small one? Not even a super small one. Not even a teeny weeny one? Are you an idiot? Never mind. How are you doing, Grace? <laughs> How is a feeder supposed to work? <laughs> it beeps twice a day, signaling to the owner to open a lid so that the puppy can eat. Shouldn't an automatic feeder open a lid you know automatically? This one doesn't. It just gives a signal that it's time to open it. It's not very automatic then. Yeah, it's a mean machine. I don't know why it's programmed this way. But we have what we have. It stopped beeping when it's time to feed the puppy. How are you doing? Oh, I could... Do I do... Mm -hmm. Look, I'm a professional. No! Do it! No! Do it! No! Why... No, why would you ask how she's doing? What does, does, what does this have to do with the puppy feeder? Please? What if she gets mad at me? Our cap is illegal? Oh, yes. <laughs> they are. How you doing? Yeah, we, we don't like cappas necessarily. So, um... We get... It. Just write sarcasm well and we will understand. <laughs> Um, fine. Fine, 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 fine. No, sarcasm is not forbidden. I never said that. Sarcasm is fine. I wanted to say celebrated, but I need to be careful with that. How you doing? Does it have anything? See? 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 Does it have anything to do with the repairs? Yeah. Okay, something in between longing to ride my bike and feel the wind on my face and wanting to hit something with my bat. Thanks, I'll put that in my repair report. I know, right? Oh no, if you can only write sarcasm in another way. See? Works. <laughs> I'm ready to become the kibble master. Oh boy. Alright. Oh, you're full of surprises. It looks like you're finding a key to her soul. How do you do it? I can sympathize with others because I face difficulties too. 
Okay, I'll refrain from an arms joke. Hey, look at you! It's an admiral quality you've got. Is this why you joined the basketball team? Yeah, I wanted to overcome my difficulties in the most radical way. In basketball, arms are very important. How did it go? With mixed results, let's drop the subject for now. By the way, I have two pieces of news. Good news and bad news. Which do you want first? The bad news. Actually, I'll determine the order myself. Thank you for granting me the freedom of choice. The good news is the power plant is back up and running. There is no need to kill the light when you cut out microchips. The bad news is the energy surge blew the fuse. And that, in turn, short-circuited the laser movement system. Oh no! So how am I supposed to cut out the microchip? With your, hand, with your own hands, my friend. You will have to move the blank itself. What? Oh no. Be careful not to place your hand under the laser. If you don't want it to become even shorter. Okay, I'll give it a try. So it needs a signal, right? It doesn't have to do anything with sound. Unless... Timer's no longer beeps. Oh, yeah, no, it is sound. Because it needs to beep. Wait, what? Is this really relevant? <laughs> no. Oh, God. Oh, no! <laughs> I need to try this again. I mean, 97% is not bad, but I, I need to try this again. Come on. God, it looks awful sound. Okay, I'll 100%. I'll do it. Let's glue that puppy right on there. That's to your job. Awesome. I want to make a puppy happy. We have to wait and see if the timer beeps. Evaluation! How long's the wait? I don't know. I'm not in a rush. Okay, we'll wait. Will it beep soon? I don't know. So how's it going? Fine. Can I offer you a drink? Oh, you can fix those too. Do you remember what I take? Yes, you take coffee. Because it calms you down. Weirdly enough. That's not how you electronics. Uh, yes, it is Mayogi. See, it works perfectly. Thank you from the bottom of my heart, janitor. If you considered opening a coffee shop, you could do latte designs to make clients happy. It would be too trivial. A coffee shop, bar... I've seen it many times. Yup. You like to be original. Hey, it beeps! Oh, 
and she's calm now? Nice. Perfect. It works. I can't describe how grateful I am. And it looks neat and professional. Here's your payment. Extra. For the coffee. <gasps> 20 money bucks. Yes. I'm not gonna say that. So if you want to say that you're wrong, there's an animal thing. No, I'm not gonna say one. Why do you keep your volunteer work secret? Why this interrogation? Are you trying to find my weaknesses? Any weakness of mine is more powerful than the strength of yours. Such conv convoluted wording. Don't try to get under my armor. I know what happened. I know what happens next. The incessant teasing about my oddities. Do this to me, and I'll make you very, very sorry for it. I wasn't trying to get under anything. With weirdos, you never know. Okay, I've got to go. She'll be back. Don't worry. She clearly overreacts. Perhaps I should tell her that I don't find her hobby strange? Yeah, I probably should have done that. I wonder if that bully is gonna come in today, or... If I'll be spared window fixing this time. By the conventions of the genre of this phrase, he should walk in. Oh. Nope, it's not him. Magnet Handler Pro? Interesting. Who are you talking to, weirdo? Uh, have you heard of thinking aloud? Sure. You can read about it in my book titled The Successful Pill Secrets of the Trade. There's a whole chapter about thinking aloud which helps us set our goals and program yourselves for success. Okay. You have a lot to learn. Would you like a copy? I could give you a discount. Oh! Oh, that sick burn over there! Oh my goodness! Oh, it's not selling well! <laughs> I want to say that so badly, but he's also the head of the... I, I want to say three. I do want to say three, but the problem is I have to face him at the many money um, inventor event that we're going through. Oh, uh, he could he could be uh, the judge and short me. Nagging it have helped me so. F Did it? I don't know, Mac. I don't know. You know what? I'm doing it. See what happens. Oh, it's not selling well. This is why you're offering it at half price. Boo! I've sold millions of copies. Just look at the number of reviews on my website. The number of paid reviews? You have proof that they are paid? These are real reviews from real readers whose life was transformed by my book. Okay, I'm feeding the title to the search machine and reading the reviews. I learned the secrets of success from Roy the Guru and achieved amazing results in the course of a single month. I founded a successful business, bought my dream car and became effective in all aspects of my life. This is really a successful pill. Read this book and it will transform your life. Seriously? Come on, it's a real review. If you still doubt it, read the book yourself. Thanks, but no thanks. Actually, I came in because I have another assignment for you. A little help for your business venture. Successful fellows should be kind to the less fortunate ones. Oh! I need to tweak this climate control module for my department o department's office. I want to mess with this, but I probably won't. Investigation. <laughs> my subs are becoming increasingly lazy. And I learned that the managers of several departments of Zaur Tech use this gizmo to up productivity. 
Wait, how are productivity and climate control connected? Silly you. Don't you remember it from biology classes? You were quite the nerd back then. We are reptiles. The speed of reactions in our body depends on the ambient temperature. If we crank up the heat in the office, those lazy bosses will move faster. Do you realize the consequences of working in the heat? Consequences? What consequences? When the amb ambient temperature goes up, it speeds up the processes in the body, which in turn accelerates aging. In other news, it will have an adverse effect on the worker's health. Oh, this is negligible. Big ideas call for big decisions. Overall, it's not your concern. You've been given an assignment. Complete it. I will pay handsomely. What you're doing is immoral. You won't get away with it. Oh, what about I don't say that? Oh. How badly do we want money? <laughs> this is a question. Ooh. Yeah, don't say mess with it. That is my plan. Fine, I'll do my job. I'll see what I can do. Yeah, I mean, the... If you do what I ask, you get a, a pretty sum for it. Remember, this is a highly confidential. Don't you dare mention this to anyone. Okay. So I either install a heating microchip or break this module completely to punish Roy. break this completely if I make it really bad I can't really break it can I no can I glue it <laughs> it's all sound yeah I'm thinking of it I was thinking of just placing it a really really bad microchip Oh, right. my worst job ever <laughs> here I made some changes I'll turn it on to see if it pumps up the heat uh oh it's not warming up at all what did you do to it it functions correctly oh am I lying now oh um. Oh. Hi, <laughs> Omarit. Uh, what should I do? I can't lie, but it's not. Am I a dino punk? Well, I currently yes. Um, what am I gonna say? I mean, he doesn't. He doesn't know anything about tech, so I can tell him that it functions correctly, but will he believe me? And I, this is actually confronting him, and if I wanted to do that, I should have done that before this. It functions correctly. Don't try to fool me. Uh oh. I can see that's not warming up at all. I'll never use your services again. Think about purchasing my book, you could learn a lot. Is that a vending machine I see? Will you treat your customer to a beverage? Sure. 
I'm waiting. Here, jitterbug. Have some coffee. Let's say the beverage meets the expectations. What exactly do you mean? Use your big brain on this one. You're just as I remember. You haven't changed one bit. <sighs> oh. Not that one. I love that one. first instinct was to say, what if I don't want to? But I don't want to argue with him. I am... Oh, here's the thing. I'm so worried that if I go to that, to that event where I have to do the inventions and he's going to be the judge of it, he's going to judge me. Be just, mm. I need to go to... Okay. I have expected you to be the same hypocrite. Hippocratic, hypocritic stop. Boo! Why do you call me hypocritic? Hypocritic? That's a weird word. Anyway. Well, you treat your workers like automatons. You pass yourself off as a super engineer, but you know squat about mechanics. You bring back high school memories to elevate yourself, and you knock my magazines off the counter with your briefcase to show who's boss. Must I continue? You've become sharp-tongued. Would you still say I haven't changed? Did I manage to surprise you? Ring ring. Hang on a sec. I have to take this. Yeah. Yes, I can make it. Yes, I've got the divorce papers. She's already there. I'm on my way. So, what was I talking about? You're going to... Oh, uh, hmm. Confronting? Confronting? I would tear you down, dinosaur! <sighs> You're going through a divorce? Yeah. It happens. So, Roy the Successful ran into some trouble in his private life. Oh, he's upset now. No trouble. It's it's all part of the plan. Then why are you screwing up your face? Uh, I'm not screwing up anything. She's an idiot and I don't need anyone to weigh me down. How does she weigh you down? Like a ball and chain. She keeps complaining that I don't pay her enough attention. What a kind of business to run. But deep inside you feel lonely. Admit it. Boo! Oh, I don't think the tomatoes are necessary anymore. So you're a psychologist now? I live the way I want to. Nobody should stand in my way. This kind of attitude, you'll end up alone. So what? I don't need anyone. You only live once. Live for yourself. If a person is useless, strike them out of your life. Do you assess everyone from the point of view of usefulness? Don't. Play the fool, Chris. So many poor bosses fall short of their dreams because they were too shy to shove others aside. You've got to be practical. Rely on healthy cynicism. You've got to push ahead. So what's wrong with assessing the other's usefulness? Uh... You will create... You're creating a community that will toss you overboard the moment it loses interest in you. Baloney. Don't kid yourself. This is what happened on a number of occasions. Remember how your Dino Ball teammates turned on you after you missed a goal in the finals? This was a League of Champions. Everyone's eyes were on you. But you didn't deliver. Did a single person out of your success oriented team give you a pat on the back? No, they badmouthed you on every corner and every locker room in every smoking area for three days straight. 
Do you like this Dino Eat Dino Society? As if anyone would support you when you fail. This is what happened on a number of occasions. This is, this is the law of nature. If you're strong, they need you. If you're weak, they toss you overboard. There's much more to society. Life is constant interaction. The capacity to open up and support others in their hour of need is also a strength and often more powerful than sheer self-reliance. Where one fails, two can prevail. Your friend will pick you up where you fall. What will happen to you after you fall? It's bound to happen sooner or later. You're, you're, you're delirious, Chris. Leave me alone. I, I have errands to run. I'm not going to waste any more time talking to you. Okay, run your super important errands. Then I will. I've, I've got no time to waste. Bye. Oof, looks like I hit a nerve. This conversation was long overdue. He can't argue with the truth. I feel a bit sorry for him. I Yes, I do. Use a pet instead is more humane. <laughs> no, this it, this is this is good. I mean, it's very very honest, but I think it's good. It's confrontational, but you know, maybe it'll help. I don't know. I hope he comes back. We need to talk more. Good job. He needed that moral punch. I hope it'll make him stop and think. I doubt it. At least you showed him his place. Tell me about Project Horror. Get off it already. No. <sighs> okay, I'm going upstairs. Watch your step on the stairs. I'm gonna let it go for now. I'm not gonna push it. Alright. Oh, my precious, precious blueprint. Let me push you under the pillow. We have... Do we have money? We do have money. I need to save up for a cool poster. Oh, they have a basketball poster now? I want the, the David Doey one, though. I like that one. This one. And I want a comfy bed. <laughs> Alright, we have to save up, guys. Oh. Wait, what was that? Dino boss? Top dinos only? Sharp nail? An old nail is better than two new ones? Interesting. Forum. Guys. I can't take this anymore. Guys, I got yelled at by a woman in our furniture shop. Okay. Hold on. Am I giving life advice now? Oh boy. 10% of the population is yes, really helps. Well, I'll be able to program this stupid time traveling device. I'll go to the future and change my life. Have you thought about transferring to IT? They say the salaries are very large. Too difficult. I don't know what to do. Oh, well done. I've reached the equator. I'm working as a consultant in a furniture show. Got no family, no friends. Oh. Transform your life now, without a time machine. It's easy to say, you haven't seen my- you haven't been in my shoes. You know, Chris is right. Try and do something with your life. Came here to vent not to do stuff. I can tell. Well, we're trying. Ah. I should have left it, though. Who am I to give advice? I don't know everything. Zourtex Scandal? An independent investigation uncovered inappropriate working conditions at Sour Tech, the city's largest corporation. <gasps> Modified climate control modules were installed at the premises, raising the temperature significantly above those specified in the labor code. Company representatives in turn claimed that this change 
to the workplace environment has been implemented with the workers' consent and is planned to be made standard across all other facilities. As we all know, high temperatures speed up the met metabolic rates of our cold-blooded workforce, leading to increased productivity as well as premature aging. Glad I didn't help then. A lucid dream-inducing device? The FREAK Freak Private Research Institute has developed a lucid dream helmet that will enable the wearer to control their dreams at will, directing them to whatever, however they want. Project developers claim that their invention will help get rid of obsessive nightmares, sort out the past, and overcome psychological trauma. We reached out to them to clarify some de details, but the team lead was unfortunately unavailable for comment due to undergoing treatment for a bad case of insomnia. The device is coming soon, so our editorial staff advises you to keep tabs on your local store's uh, assortment, as the first batch will probably sell out like hot pancakes. <gasps> Royalty has arrived! Hi, Shellman! <laughs> Shellman with the tier 3 sub for 33 months! That's a lot of threes! <laughs> Thank you, Shellman! Hi, hello! Oh my goodness! Thank you! <laughs> oh, I need to go to sleep, don't I? Go to bed! Look for and activate points with your mouse cursor. The cursor will glow and position to a point. What? Look for and activate points with your mouse cursor. Don't splash me. It's not me, it's my water gun. Pew! You! Take that! Hey, no foot splashing, it's no fair! Who told you that, your mommy? this monster I'm coming take that Chris you saved me oh what would I do without you oh you're bleeding let's start the blood with some grass whoa I was dreaming. Day 5. Money. 38 dino bucks. Time machine parts. Zero. Soon. What a heroic dream I had. I remember saving her from a neon jellyfish when we were kids. In reality, the jellyfish was way smaller though. But I've grown too. And now I'm on a much larger rescue mission. I'm coming in temporal hyperspace! My morning walk was very refreshing. It's time to go back to the shop. Woo! Oh, Chris, there you are. I popped in like I usually do, but the shop was closed, dude. I thought for a moment that you had flown away on, on your time machine. Ah, you have this dreamy hero look on your face again, dude. Do my portrait while it lasts. I'm no artist, I'm a writer, bro. I brought some vacuum cleaners. All broken. Let's get down to fixing things. Okay. Wee. I'm quitting my job, by the way. What? Yeah, it's all tip top. It's just that I submitted the report a little late again, and I thought, too Jurassic with this. Hang on. Have you thought this through? 
I'll come with something. I've got my writing. You don't have your writing yet. You haven't published a single book. But I'm working on it, dude. How are you gonna pay your bills if you become a famous writer? Or before you become a famous writer? I'll figure it out as I go, bro. It looks like he's too relaxed to listen to me right now. I should bring him back to that. I was should bring him back down to earth. Justin, let's talk about your work. What's there to say? I screwed up my report again. I don't really care. I'm sick and tired of the place. Hmm. Do you realize that if you quit your job, you'll end up without any means of substance? Substance? Blech, that's a word. Subsistence. Subsistence? That's not a word I use regularly. <laughs> there we go. I'll survive. Somehow. On what? Rummaging through garbage cans? Ah, Chris, it's, it's not gonna get that bad. Have you got any savings? Well, everything is tip top, bro. I'll take that as a no. It's a no, bro. Perfect, he's sobering up a bit. I need to push on. Have you signed your resignation papers? Not yet, bro. But I'll do it today. Um. Well, where will you go if you don't become a successful writer? What do you mean? I won't become successful? But you're dabbling in writing. You don't know for sure how it's gonna go. I hope for the best. Don't get your hopes up until you have some solid results. Stop nagging me. I'm chasing my dream, bro. Uh, I like the top one. So am I. But use your head. Dude, you're just killing my vibe, bro. I came for inspiration, not moralization. Perhaps I'm too vague. That's why he doesn't take my words seriously. So, what are you hinting at, bro? Writing is your hobby, but your day job puts bread on your table. Don't try to stuff me with this righteous life nonsense. I know what I want. I paved my own way, bro. It feels like you're trying to dress me up, but the clothes are all the wrong sizes. Hang on. I think I know what you're trying to tell me. I've become too dreamy. That's one way to lose everything. I've got to give it more thought. Thanks for bringing me down to earth, bro. I almost made a stupid mistake. I'll look for my name on the dedication page of your future bestseller. To my best friend, Chris, who saved my life with gratitude, etc, etc. I want to live to see this moment. So... Oh, God. <laughs> Let's get back to our little helpers, the robot vacuum cleaners. You won't believe how much I enjoyed getting them out of commission. I hope you enjoyed fixing them as much. This time, you have to fix even greater number of them than the last time, so get ready. We already did so many the last time. I'm always ready. Oh god, hold on, I need a sip. Mm. Also, don't forget, there is a giveaway going in chat. SimCity 4 Deluxe Edition, um, exclamation point please to enter, and we'll draw a winner in about an hour. Yeah. And if you want to know more about the game, click the link in chat. Brings you to a Steam page, and you can check it out and see if you want, if you, if you want to join in the giveaway. All right, gotta focus up, chat. You know what I thought? I to think of it, eternal sleep is not a bad thing, especially when I have to see your snout every morning. Ah, very funny. Remember, without B, you're left short-handed. So, speedy repairs again. Please set the timer. Three, two, go. Beep! Alright. This goes there. This goes away. This goes in here. 
This goes back. This goes on top. Let's go. Done. Time's up. Is it? The vacuum cleaners are fully operational. I recognize your handiwork. You're worth 10 other mechanics, Chris. Tomorrow we'll show them what real speed means. By the way, I'm pretty much finished my story. I just need some finishing touches. Can you give me a hand with that? Sure. It'll be a bestseller. First off, I can't come up with a name for the main character. Any suggestions? Quantra? <laughs> um, I like Jonathan Joestar, just because of the alliteration. I think it's a bit weird to say his past is shrouded in mystery and so is his name. I mean, you do need a name. And Quantra Nostril, that's just a joke. So I'm gonna go for the first one. Jonathan Joestar. Is this a reference? No, it's just a cool name. I believe a character with this name would feel right at home in an epic setting in combat, evil in style. Also, he'd have to be very muscular. Next question. Not a reference? Wait, what is it a reference to? Jojo? What? Hold on. I don't know this reference. Please tell me. I think I'm missing something. <laughs> it's anime? Oh yeah, then... Sorry, I didn't watch anime when I was younger. Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. I don't know that one. Alright. Thank you, Tori Prasad. <laughs> anyway. Good to know. During the final boss fight, our character uh, yells a really cool line. He's lying on the ground, almost defeated, but suddenly he gets himself together and yells a battle cry that gives him strength. He makes a reference to everything he's been fighting for. What could he say before he crushes evil with one final blow? <laughs> my loved ones are in my heart. This gives me strength. Maybe. The villain was initially entertained by the heroes. The hero goes, I created you, but you went haywire. This time has to come to shut you down. Eh, I was fighting for a love, but the joke got out of hand. <laughs> Really, Saints? I, I, I didn't grow up with anime, really. I grew up with Disney movies. So if you have a Disney movie reference, I'd probably pick that out of chat anytime. But anime, not really. I think the first anime I really, yeah, I got I got into anime like the early thirties. <laughs> I thought, oh, because the first anime movie I saw was Akira. And then I thought, all, all anime was like Akira. And um, I didn't know any better. Because uh, no one told me otherwise. Um, and then later I found out, that's not exactly what it is. And then Ghibli is also anime. And uh, Pokemon is anime. And just I had no clue. <laughs> <laughs> well, they didn't think you should know Troya Prasad. No, I, I I know very little of that. <sighs> I really like Pokemon though. <laughs> and all the Ghibli movies. At least a lot of them. 
I want to say the first one because it's already like a really corny story. So I want to say, my loved ones are in my heart. This gives me strength. Uh, but I like the last one too. I'm going for the. I'm going to go for this one, just because with all the other uh, decisions that we made. My loved ones are in my heart. This gives me strength. Oh, this is so epic and heroic, as epic as it gets. So the foes are vanquished and we're rushing towards the ending. It has to be memorable, though. Worth it for the reader who's made it this far. Any ideas? After his victory over the aliens, your main character becomes the master of the universe. Yes! <laughs> I mean, of course! What is... Oh, God. What is that reference again? Um, the one was master of the universe. Shoot. I don't know. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. He man, was that it? Oh, I thank you, thank you, Chad. I'm sorry, I just don't know that either. I mean, I know it somewhat. I don't think I ever watched it. He man, all right, probably that one. After his victory, the hero flies off to handle seduced by immense power. Nah, the hero becomes a rapper. Well, this is an EP about his adventure. <laughs> I'll say, Master of the Universe. This is terrible. After his victory of the aliens, the main character becomes the master of the universe. That's a well-deserved reward. The reader is going to feel like they had read on an epic saga. Oh, I can already envision a screen adaptation. <coughs> really? So we've hammered out the plot. Chris, what would I do without you? Would you like to go over the entire plot? Of course. Okay, let me take out my notes. Here it goes. Plot summary. Okay, here we go. So, the main character is called Jonathan Joestar. The character was enjoying his life until one day an unknown alien race abducted his girlfriend. Naturally, the hero is enraged and does everything he can to save her and also saves passers-by. A secret is revealed and they've been abducted other beings to create a new species in their labs. But the main character is no wet noodle, he wields the weapon of victory. His family's blast are hands down from father to son. When our hero picks it up, his daddy's lessons come back to him. Will there be flashbacks? The whole caboodle. His family's honor and the power of memories. Having overcome all difficulties, the hero comes face to face with the leader of the alien organization. In a heated battle, the hero is vanquished. Or is he? He gathers what strength he can muster to rise and shout as his nemesis face. My loved ones are in my heart, and that gives me strength. With his last bit of strength, he delivers the final blow. And the foe is vanquished, and everyone's cheering. And the hero becomes the master of the universe. Of course he does. He just saved everyone from sure death. His reign is long and prosperous. Dudes, this is really powerful, would you say? I love it. Hey, Xanos. Hi. <laughs> He-Man is an 80s cartoon. I am 40, but um, <laughs> like I said, I grew up on Disney movies and we didn't have a lot of uh, TV channels. So I, I didn't watch the cartoons you would watch in your young 80s. I, I missed a lot. <laughs> I did eventually watch Cartoon Network. Which is um, Cow and Chicken and uh, Dexter's Lab and what was the guy again? Uh, well, anyway, that. <sighs> yeah, I missed a, I missed a bunch of cartoons that I just I just wouldn't be able to watch. I buy a copy of this book right now. I'll give you the advanced copy. Thanks, bro. Signed by yours truly. Aw, what an honor. Today I'm going to final edits and submitting the manuscript for the contest. Wish me luck. Johnny Bravo. Thank you. That's the one I was talking about. Thanks, Tori Prasad. Do the monkey with me. I'm holding my three fingers crossed for you. 
I was supposed to get a detailed review highlighted the strengths and weaknesses of the story. Oh, uh, would you like a ride to the fest tomorrow? I'd rather not. Sorry, I forgot that you just like cars after that accident. Yeah, um, I'll take the train. Okay, see you tomorrow then. Bye, bro. Everything went well. He wrote a novel, and I talked Justin out of quitting his job. Better safe than sorry. We'll see how it goes from there. The dream I had made... The dream I had made me overexcited. A <sighs> calming drink would help. Let's have some tea. Shall we chat? Whew. Okay, I think I'm feeling better now. Ah, uh, how warm and relaxing. Uh, hi. Hiya, honey dino. Can you fix something for me? Sure. This is an e-cigarette. It's not functional. My buddy can't live without it. He gets the jeebies. <laughs> By the way, would you have something energizing? I'm on my last legs over a party. Sure, I have some coffee for you. No worries. There you go. Oh. Oh, well. Wow. That's strong. I'm bouncing off the walls. You know, your beverages. Thanks. Uh, <clears throat> let's get to repairs. I need to collect some information about the problem. Investigation. Did the e cigarette stop functioning? Oh, that's a great story. We were at a rock concert and my buddy decides to do a backflip with the cigarette in his teeth right in the middle of the crowd. He landed on his butt! <laughs> and the best part, he cracked it. We almost killed ourselves laughing. So he landed on the e cigarette's butt? No, it's just such a cool story I wanted to share. Thank you very much. Did anything happen to the heating module? No, it's functional. I tinkered with it a bit. Oh, so you're a tech savvy. No, no, just a bit. Haven't done any repairs in years. I've got a different life now. How do you, how do you suppose could be the problem then? Or what, what do you suppose could be the problem then? Well, it's a new model that lets you adjust the intensity. I've heard there's a microprocessor inside. Maybe it's the culprit? By the way, you got really nice makeup. Oh, thanks! I'm not gonna argue with that. Okay, we're not gonna, I'm not gonna push that. It's, one compliment is enough. But chat, you are quite smashing. I'll get to it! More flirting? No! I have a T-Rex lady to save in my past. Chat, focus. Come on now. <laughs> Smoking is bad for your health, you know. Hey, it's not mine. I'm just completing an order. But you are free to do as you wish. Wouldn't it be better if the cigarette didn't work? Why do you want me to leave it? Why do you want me to leave it this way? I find it foolish that you kind undermines their health by smoking, yet the act itself doesn't seem to provide much pleasure. I hate contradictions on this sort, so sabotage I sabotage them. I'm willing to pay you extra if you side with me on this one. Oh. I don't want to. I like her. I want to do a normal repair first. I can always tell her that smoking is bad, but I think she knows. I should be careful if I decide to do a backflip. The temperature model is working properly. So you know it might be the AI model. Okay, so I need a brain. Doesn't it cleaning? Was this how it's supposed to be? Alright. Intelligence! Ah, oh, little Miss Dingo, thank you for the follow. Thank you. <laughs> Please.
please find your follower emotes. There'll be a cookie and a blanket for you right there. And welcome to the blanket fort. Hi. Hey, short pause. I managed to restore the system. The laser is fully operational. Oh, thank goodness. Alright. All right. Let's put a little, little heart over there. There we go. I'm done. S tier. Are these science magazines over here? Yeah. Are you a fan? I just didn't think anyone would still have them. Let's check your work. Here you go. Evaluation. Oh my god, all these butterflies! Squee! This is quality work. All done so neatly. Ah, how much did you say are you? I let my clients decide how much they want to pay. Oh, you're quirky. I like that. Catch! Whoa! 25 money bucks! Oh, I'm falling asleep again. Be a deer and pour me another one. Alright. Sure. Here you go. I have coffee for days, girl. Don't worry. Here you go. Keep you going for the rest of the day. You're a nice guy. I'll pop in after parties. Would you like some fizz? Uh, well, it's just tea and coffee for now. Too bad. It's nice, at least soothes your throat after a night out. If you add it to your collection, I'll become a regular here. Uh, well, I'll check it out in the evening. Perhaps I could order it from the store. Speaking of the science magazines, I couldn't help but notice that you... that they caught your attention. Can I give you one as a gift? Oh, that's very nice of you. But no, thank you. Mechanics is a thing of the past. The world is not as rosy as you think as a kid. I don't care any more about this junk. Well, I still care. Actually, I love science. Really? Oh, come. Don't boys grow out of it eventually? Grow out of what? Our desire to study the unknown? This is fantasy. Life wasn't... It wasn't hard on you, I guess. It wasn't hard on you? I was raised by a bunch of wackos and eventually ran away from home. Uh, you see now? Alright, I've gotta go. I still need to clean up the party house. My name's Strix, by the way. I'll pop in again. And I'm Chris. Right, don't get rusty in here. She's odd. She might seem happy to go lucky at first, but she's constantly talking around the corner. There's a book stuck in there from the beginning. It bothers me. <laughs> Alright. Can we invite her out for drinks? Look, I'm trying to get to the past to save my T-Rex girlfriend. Well, maybe. So you decided against meddling with another person's habits? There are other, other ways of dealing with such issues. And what are they? Please share your wisdom. I don't know, but they must be more subtle. 
A person will always find a way to get what they crave. Is the it's the craving that needs to be addressed. You are very complicated creatures, but perhaps you are better informed. What's that noise? Oh, what is that noise? I think I know. <laughs> Stop by to say hello. Oh no! No! Oh god. Hi, hello. Ah, so I guessed right. You think that you're always right, genius? I came to take what's mine. Double the amount, because I missed the date yesterday. Sure, just a moment. Since I keep stopping by, you might as well know my name. My name is Bon. That's a nice name. Is it bone? Is this bone on his jacket? Of course it is. My mom gave it to me. You must be a very good person. Uh... <laughs> if I say your name suits your personality, he's probably gonna say, like, what's that supposed to mean? I'm just gonna assume his mom is a very good person. She was. <gasps> oh, buddy. Hey, are you trying to bring me to tears? Fat chance. No, no, I really meant it. Um, how's your job hunting going? Did you try the police department? I did. They turned me down because of my criminal record. I took part in a robbery. Uh, then it's a lost cause. Hey, don't give up. Why not? For someone like me, the road to police forces is closed. Do you like something to drink? Well, sure, but throw this parts of so much talking. Let's have some tea. There you go. His mom used to make really strong tea. Oh, this is lovely. I'm starving to get used to I'm starting to get used to your tea. Is there a, a secret ingredient? Well, just a dash of love. Genius. That's a fine evening out there. I'll go for a walk. Take it easy. See ya. Oh, I just took my money. Oh, I'll bug it. Oh, well. I'm leaving for the festival tomorrow and coming back in two days. What will he do in my absence, I wonder? Will he come and bang on the locked door to vent his frustration? Ugh. I better get to my room. Gotta get early. Gotta get up early tomorrow. Tomorrow I will win the first prize at the festival. I'll buy you a sh and I'll buy you a shower cabin. Oh, is that my mom? It is. Connecting. Hi. How are you doing, Chris? Staying out of trouble? Hi, mom. Everything's fine. Glad to hear it. We are proud of you, son. I'm glad to hear that everything's alright. That's what I needed to know. Go to sleep now. Don't stay up too late. Hi, right, Chris. Good night to you. Do you do that? Oh, I forgot to unpack a painting she had drawn for me once. How could I? Better hang it up. Her painting heartens me. She always saw the best of me. She was a gifted artist with a bright future ahead. Go check the store for some fizzy drinks for the vending machine and then go to sleep. All oh, right, the vending machine. Hey. Oh, hello. I'm just gonna hang that right, right above my bed. Yeah. Oh, I need fifty. Darn it. I can fix my shop though. Hmm. Yeah, I don't have that. I don't have enough money for it. Yeah, me, me, me. <sighs> I'll wait. Oh, I could get a comfy bed, though. Oh, choices. Do I want to be comfortable, or do I want to make the cool dinosaur goth girl comfortable? 
Hmm. Well, can't buy anything yet. I need good sleep. I need to go to that event. Go to bed. Oh shoot, I didn't check in the form. Oh well. Day six. Money? 43 dino bucks. Time machine parts? Zero. I hope I didn't forget anything. I think I have all the items recommended in that flyer. I'll show everyone what these short arms are good for. Show them that it's not a hindrance at all. Seems like the festival is about to begin. It's time to go. Welcome to Zowertech Science Festival! I am the company's lead engineer, Roy Jobson. Get ready for the specific oh, spectacle of a lifetime. Many dinosaurs ask me, how do you bridge the gap between creatives and corporations? Is there really no place for a talented diamond in the rough in this day and age? And I answer, there certainly is. Today we are going to prove there's just that. Let's hear it for the first science Festival! Woo! Is that on fire? All of you have been hard at work to show off your skills. The eyes of the experts are upon us and they will evaluate your talents. Our wonderful audience will of course watch you as well. Show us what you've got! Amazing and bewildering! Go beyond the edge of possibility and shock us with your engineering skills! Let the show begin! Ugh, I am really sick with anxiety. Look, it'll be fine, bro. After all, I helped you practice. Don't embarrass your instructor. I haven't slept a wink last night. I had to force my eyes open. Oh, my legs feel sluggish and wobbly. Hey, did you uh have your coffee today? Damn it! I just plain forgot about it. Guess I should visit the nearby coffee shop. And here comes contestant number one. The owner of a repair shop and it it's an endangered business these days. Chris! Huh? Oops. Hey, Justin, I'm desperate for a cup of coffee. Please distract them. I'll get going. What do you mean distract them, bro? They're waiting for you to take the stage. Uh. <laughs> sure. Throw yourself to the ground and start screaming. Oh, easy. I used to do that all the time back when I was a baby, bro. Watch and learn. Wait, it's a dumb idea, isn't it? Come on, trusted comrade, it's go time! And I don't want to hurt anyone. Ah, uh, no way. That won't do. There's nothing for us to gain by that. Take the stage, there's no other way. I can't! My knees are about to give out! Dude! You've been working so hard for this, don't just give up now! Hey, I know. I'm gonna cheer you up when you take the stage. It won't help much. I'm sure I will give you a boost. I know just what to do. Now take the stage and give the opening speech, and this is your time to shine. <sighs> Alright. If we don't come back, don't come looking. Keep it up. Meet our first contestant. So, Chris, tell the audience a few words about yourself. Um, I run a repair shop called RepairX. Um, here's the address. Uh, hold it right there, Chris. There will be time for advertising later. Show us what you got first. Yay, go, Chris! Looks like we've got a team cheering for you. A team of exactly one, that is. Go, Chris! Pump it up! Keep the mechanic spirit up, bro! Oh, goodness. Is that how he's giving me a boost? Share your story with the audience, Chris. Why are you participating in the Czar Tech Festival? <laughs> I'm gonna be so boring. Pretty girls of sports cars? No. This is just... I'm... I 
How much to grow as a mechanic and level up his skills? So you're stressing yourself out on purpose so you can level up? Good for you. Chris, you're the best! Woo! Will you marry me, bro? Is that your biggest fan again? Does he want to marry you and have children? Oh, well, your private life isn't my business. And round one of the repair contest starts right now. Your job is to repair these trademarked Zourtech tablets. Do it as quickly as you can while maintaining the quality. Zourtech tablets? The, the ones everyone dumped because each and every action was behind a paywall? This is our newest model! Yeah, I was right. No wonder they have loads of spare parts for me. Are you ready, Chris? I want to say hi to my mom. Go ahead. Hi, mom. So your mom is in the audience right here? No. But then how will she hear you? She won't. You're a real oddball, Chris, you know. All right, then. Here we go. Oh, gosh. Our contestants will be asked to repair signature Zowatech tablets. This won't be easy. However, since contestants are put under a strict time limit, will they be able to conduct repairs in a quick and efficient manner? Let's find out! Ah! Oh god. So you've taken the stage, huh? Did they realize you brought me in as well? After all, I am one of a kind. Pretty sure people would ask questions about me. Don't worry, don't you worry. I told everyone you're just to use the scrap of plastic. Thank you very much. Now do your job and start the timer. Hey, I am not your servant, so drop that attitude. Please, everyone's watching me. I couldn't care less. You have to ask nicely. My dearest printer, the light of my life, could you please be a dear and start the timer? There. That's much better. Oh, bye, Far Walker. <laughs> a bit too dramatic, perhaps, but it'll do. Three, two, one. Oh, God. <sighs> Go! Okay. This goes away. I'm gonna put it in this. There we go. Put the battery in. Very nice slot. There we go. Put it in. And we're done. Next. Battery. That one. Time's up. Just look at the quality of his repair work. It is simply astonishing. Chris is the clear winner of our first contest. We shall see if he's going to be able to keep this up in the later stages of the competition. Oh boy. I guess I have a moment to relax. Dude, I really enjoyed watching you tinker away on those tablets, bro. You were fixing stuff at breakne breakneck speed, as though you had to drink a whole pot of coffee. Oh, my drive is to win. My drive to win is my coffee. Those are the words of a champion, right there, bro. Ah, Justin. Now I get it. I was just wondering who that screaming idiot in the audience was. Oh, yes. Well, am I? Yeah, I am. And you, Roy? When did you last receive such heartfelt support? <laughs> I don't need support when I have authority. Hey, Justin. So Chris here is a mechanic. What about you? You've reached new incredible heights. 
I'm living the life of my dreams, doing what I always wanted. Are you, though? Yes, he is, Roy. Imagine that. It's just so unlike you, Justin. You've always been all over the place, never knew what you wanted. But sure, let's go with that. What do you do, then? All kinds of stuff, dude! Here, here and there. Can you be more specific? Hmm. Why so nosy, Roy? Just to... <laughs> Just to put him down? No. Why so nosy? Why? Is there anything you two are shy about? I'm not really shy. I'm not really in the mood to discuss that right now, that's all. Yeah, right. Well, now I'll get going. Round two is about to begin. And I've got to take care of some vital organizational issues. I'm going to make use of the notification system that you repaired for me, Chris. Oh, we did that right, right? We, re we actually repaired that, right? We did we repair that correctly? I think we did. I think we did. I think we're good. Thanks for helping out the guy in the conversation, bro. Because it sure felt like a word battle. Why does he always have to pick on people? Ah, that's a lifestyle of his. Don't take it personally. Dear audience, please take your seats next to the main stage. Round two of our contest starts now. I'm going to take my seat. Good luck in the next round, bro. I'm ready to face anything. Hey, Zaslan! <laughs> And now, introducing Zyrotech Signature Heated Chair. Unfortunately, the first batch of these chairs turned out to be defective. Let's just say that those chairs tended to overheat ever so slightly. We will hand out a number of temperature modules from that batch to our contestants. After some speedy repairs, we will randomly select one module. And our admit Admiral Tester will give your heating system contraption a spin. Try not to torch our tester to life. We only have one. Oh god. See that tester on the stage. I wouldn't mind seeing his butt get grilled when he sits on this chair. Nah. You want me to screw up the repairs? Well, maybe a little. Yeah, no. I'm not wasting my chance to win just to amuse you. Pretty, please. No, start the timer. You buzzkill. Three, two, pretty, please. No. Well, one. The countdown begins. Oh gosh, that's broken. Fun. Let's go. Done. you pick this up come on no no <laughs> all right we fished out a random temperature module let's see how warm and comfortable our tester will get hey you're feeling comfortable there yeah he's clearly enjoying himself Let's congratulate contest our but let's congratulate our contestant on successful repairs. And congratulate our tester with not getting his tail burned clean off. Oh, I haven't done too badly. Now it's officially downtime. No more contests for today. Oh hi! Hey! It was like totally cool! I've been keeping an eye on everyone and found your approach to be the most efficient. Mind-blowingly efficient! So perfectly logical! Uh, I'm, I'm not used to that kind of praise. Thanks? 
Scientifically, what interests me most is your hands. Primates have five fingers and you only have three. And you still did an amazing job with those. Scrap the time machine. I love all these ladies. Well, but... Yeah, um, look, I'll consider it, okay? My name is Sai. May I study you and write a research paper? Sure, nothing beats being a lab rat, I guess. Whoa! <laughs> Holy calculations, yes! I'll be giving your coordinations, coordination exercises and comparing your results to those of primates. I'm going to study you all over. Uh. Ah, um, sorry. Um, I might have got a bit carried away. Are, are, are you here as a contestant too? Oh, I'd love to, but no. As a sour tech employee, I'm not eligible to participate so we make, so we keep things fair for other contestants. But you just have no idea how itchy I am to take apart something or other. I totally get it. After all, I'm s something of a scientist myself. <laughs> it's always nice to meet a colleague who shares your passion. Looks like you got yourself a new fan, my dude. Oh, not really. I was just pointing out he was a fascinating work style. Uh-huh. Just how... That's how fans become in the first place. Chris already got himself a whole army of fans, you know. No, no, you've got it all wrong. You're jumping to false conclusions. Take a chill pill. I'm just kidding. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't understand the joke, then. It's... Completely devoid of logic. Not everything can be solved through logic alone. <gasps> I'm not gonna explain it to her. Yeah, I'm not gonna explain it to her. <laughs> Sorry. No, I feel that's rude. Not everything can be solved through logic alone. That's an amateur way of thinking. Now, experts on the other hand realize that everything has a cause and an effect. They make it sound difficult. I use scientific reasoning in my search for truth. That's all there is to it. Oh, I haven't introduced myself to your friend. Hi, I'm Sai. And I'm Justin. Um, you've just seen my name in bookstores right on the bestseller stand? Really? Oh, so you're a famous writer? Well, not yet, but soon, bro. Dear audience, the jury has finished calculating the scores for the first day of the contest. Keep in mind that tomorrow will be a special day. You will get to see and enjoy, and enjoy creative repairs in all their glory. Creative? What do they mean by that? It wasn't mentioned in the handout. The contestants will be tasked with creating a design for specific items. After all, we all know that each device is more than its, con its contents. The outer shell matters too. The one who creates the most appealing and suitable design wins the round. Good luck to all contestants. I didn't see that coming. Whoa! No, this is awkward. What's wrong with you guys? There was a note at the bottom of the handout. Please bring your own design tools. It's clear to anyone that design is the essential part of any device. In that case, I'm going to do some shopping and buy some design tools because I'm sure I don't have any. Dude, I hate to disappoint you, but all shops are already closed at this hour. Um, hey Sai, do you have any tools for creative design? No, I only deal with the scientific part of production. Well, that's too bad. Tell you what, I'll just get up early tomorrow morning and fetch you some design tools. I'll be internally grateful. Are you sure you won't oversleep? The contest begins early in the morning. I never oversleep, bro. It's gonna be alright, I promise. Ugh. Uh, I mean, I want to trust you, bro. Um, <laughs> I really do. This is really important. No, I'm not gonna oversleep. It's Justin. Are you sure you won't sleep through your alarm, Justin? Stop nagging, bro. I already said I won't. 
All right, all right, sure. Hey, I got an idea. People are gathering at the central tent for a game of space. Want to join them? I'm all for it. I really need to relax. Yeah. You want to join us, Sai? Sorry, I'm kind of busy at the moment. Hey, can wait. Um, you gotta free up some time to have fun. The concept of fun is useless. It doesn't yield results. What? But what about the boost of dopamine levels that causes the prolonged satisfaction with life and improved work performance? Huh? Actually, um, you have a point there. In that case, I accept. Great then. Let's get going, bro. Yeah! <laughs> Day 7. I have money bucks. Still 43 dino bucks. And zero time machine parts. I need to win this. I need the money. Hey, Sylvia. <sighs> Justin! Justin! Huh? Wake up! They just announced that the creative repair contest begins now! Uh, just one more minute, bro. Are you kidding me? I'm supposed to take the stage now! The stage? Oh! Have I slept through my alarm, bro? <sighs> you sure have. Alright, let me pick up and go fetch you those tools, bro. What about me? It's already my turn. Buy some time, Chris. Do what you have to. I'll be right back, bro. So, are you ready for your first task, Chris? I need to buy some time until Justin brings me the design tools. Before we begin, um, I'd like to tell you a story. Look, Chris, we're running on a tight schedule. Can it wait? I'm afraid it can't. Uh, if I don't tell the story now, I'm going to burst. Oh, well, just make it quick. Well, back when I was a little baby dino, um, I saw a documentary about the first cosmonaut on TV. All right. Uh, before him, no one believed a dinosaur could make it to space and come back alive. But he, but but he just just that, and so I was inspired. My next step was to join the school basketball team and become a top player. You know why? Because I like all things round and bouncy. <laughs> Just take a look at my arms and you'll know. They're tiny. We can see that, Chris. That's right. So I knew I had to overcome this. To prove to myself and all of all people that I can do better than others. Even with things these short arms of mine. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about basketballs, yes. Everyone told me I should give up on basketball. My own stubbornness is what drove me to proceed. And guess what? It worked! Soon I became season's top player. And now here I am. Here's what I want to tell you. I'm the coolest guy ever! <laughs> Don't let others define your true self. Yes! I totally agree! Such powerful worlds, that drove me to tears! <sighs> Where you go, Chris? Looks like you successfully engaged the audience's hearts, Chris. But do you think it's going to help you win? Alright then, our contest begins now! No, Justin isn't back yet. I need to buy more time. Oh god, should I land a stunning somersault? Or do I want to tell a joke? I want to do the somersault. I'm doing it. I don't even know if I can. Ah! Watch me, everyone! Uh, I should have at least practiced it before. Ha <laughs> ha! That sure came as a surprise, Chris. Want to try that again? I was really fun to watch. Special delivery, bro! Let me through! Here you are. These are the latest, the last tools they had in stock. Excuse you! Don't you know audience members are forbidden to take the stage during the performance? Yeah, sorry bro, it was an emergency. Good luck, my dude. Woo! Well, I take that we can begin the contest now? Alright, so. 
Welcome to the first designer contest stage. Our guys want their jackets adorned with positively radical patterns. Just look at their gorgeous muscles. They want the patterns on their jackets to reflect their brutally cool nature. Can our contestant pull such a design off? Have at it. Once you're finished, you will witness the fruit of your labor on stage. Oh yeah, our tough guys will take center stage wearing your design. Try not to mess it up. I wouldn't want to be the one to upset those friendly fellows. And good luck! It doesn't have a timer, right? Did you see those muscle men on the stage? You could use those... You... <laughs> you could use some gym training too. No one asked you. It's time to be in the repairs. I need to use the colors that suit the style. For now, I only have two color palettes. Cool and cute. I need to fill the spray bottle with the color I want to use. But what about red? Oh boy. Um... I don't know what to do. Uh, can I? Can I? Is, can I erase it? Oh, I can! Oh, thank goodness. Okay, there's no timer. What am I gonna do? Yeah, I'm an engineer, not a designer. Okay, I'm not, not gonna do cute. I'm gonna do this. But what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? It doesn't matter. I can make a heart and make it really spiky and cool. <laughs> what is a cool... Hmm. No, Magnivine. <laughs> Family friendly, remember? Dino Dino Face? Oh, you know what? I could totally do that. Barbells? I don't think the design matters. Tunnel snakes rule. Okay, that one I like. <laughs> um, a baseball bat. Ah, but I mean, I could do. Oh gosh, it has to be simple enough to. You know what? Ah, shoot. <laughs> this is terrible. <sighs> My problem is, I don't know how much it's gonna matter. This is terrible. I hate it. Alright. This is good. Like a... You know what? What is this exactly gonna do? Oh, I see. Oh god! I made a huge mistake! 
I'm too critical. <laughs> Don't be too critical. Right, so I wonder what are the qualifications? Do I need to use all the colors? Does the design matter? I don't think it matters. I think you're just supposed to have fun with this. Oh, you know what? I should have made a nuclear sign. Well, at least I used all the colors. Let's go with this. <laughs> yeah. I mean... Leave it alone, and I can't. Leave it alone, Dolly! Fine, I'm done! Now I need to attach the right sticker. I only have two styles of those as well. Cool and cute. Alright. Oh, I mean... Hold on. Stickers! I can't turn them. This is fine. There you go. I'm done. <laughs> oh, I like the first one. The guys are clearly happy with that design. Well, I think it highlights their very distinct character traits. Now let's present our contestants with a gift from our sponsor. The Thought Claws Gym Membership. This is your chance to become a magnificent mountain of muscle, just like our guys here. In your case, I would advise against skipping arm days. And now it's time for a short break. Don't go wandering too far, our design constant second stage will begin shortly. <sighs> who knows all about style? Me, that's who! Yeah, everyone's appreciated my sense of beauty. Maybe I should see if anyone's hiring designers. Please don't give up your day job. Oh, hey! Holy crap, that was hilarious. Hey! What are you doing here? I'm here to watch you perform. Really? No, you dork. Let's just say an old acquaintance of mine is here. Oh! Your talent of designing left me speechless, colleague. Oh, um... Hi! Hey. Is she your girlfriend? Nah. As if. Sorry! It's just... was It just was the first thing which sprang into my mind. I should analyze my thoughts before I speak. Maybe it's the opposite. You should stop relying on logic all the time. Hey! I just met the coolest contestant ever! He's interested in primates developing too, just like me. Primates have incredible neuroplasticity. 
It enables their brain to adapt easily to any conditions. Wow, that's right! Guess I'll get going. I got a friend here. We're playing a trip to a rock concert in a nearby town, so we need to prepare. Wow, a rock concert? Your life is so exciting! How come you have a friend attending a science festival, Trix? Old connections. I wouldn't get to know someone like that these days. It was a pleasure, Sai. Likewise, Trix! Oh my god, she's so cool! What's so cool about her? Well, the devil may care attitude of her is so bold and daring and she can do something really extreme. Uh, yeah, I guess you're right. I should get to know her better. Sure, why not? But why did she seem so sad at the end here? Uh, yeah, her reaction to your excitement was odd. Why? I don't know. What you said to her seemed to strike a nerve. Hmm. The second round is about to begin. I'll go find Trix. She'll make a superb research subject. See you! That's weird. Opposites attract, I guess. Or rather, opposites attract if they share a common gravity center? Ladies and gentlemen! The school year is about to begin. What can possibly commemorate this event better than a unique school bag design? Contestants get an opportunity to make young students a little happier. Give their school bags an overwhelmingly makeover. Oh, well, overwhelmingly cute makeover. Sorry. Why don't you paint a spooky picture on their backpack? I don't think the jury will appreciate that. First, I need to ask, at least pick a suitable color palette. Well, it's gonna be cute, isn't it? All right, what we're we gonna do? Mm. Can't it just be a smiley? Okay, how about a super cute ghost? You know what? I should make this totally pink. I also need stickers, so I need room. Why are we talking about spookies? This is really unnecessary. I'm gonna use up all my paint. This looks weird now. Anyway. <laughs> Boo! -hoo -hoo -hoo. I have concerns. Um. <laughs> sure. Yes. A cookie and a blanket? Wait, seriously? That's a cookie and a blanket. That's perfect. I need this as an emote. I gotta talk to the devs. That's the coziest cookie I've seen. Right, I'm just going with a weird ghost. That's so cute, it made me tear up! Bravo! I think the girls will happily show off their new school bags to their friends. We have a clear contestant winner here! Is it me? And now a round of applause for our winner! Looking at you, it's hard to guess. You're a talented engineer. What's your secret? Care to share it with us? Determination, willpower, and a cherished dream. 
How profound! That success-oriented mindset right there, isn't that right, guys? Yay! Applause! You're about to get your hands on the grand prize, Chris. What are you spending the cash on? Um... I don't know what to say. I can't say it's classified. That's weird. I could say a time machine, but I don't want anyone to know that I'm doing that. Hey, Gregory. I guess pretty girls in sports cars. Right? Sure. I still want to say time machine. It's classified? I can be mysterious. Alright, it's classified. All buttoned up, are we? Well, it's none of our business. And now for the winner's speech. Is there anything you'd like to recommend to the audience? <sighs> hmm. Believe in yourself. Believe in your belief in yourself. That's weird. Eat healthy. Yes. Eat healthy. And you're going to tell us all about your diet naturally? How do you follow it? Uh-oh. Consult your nutritionist. Each genus of dinosaur requires a personalized diet. Did you guys hear that? Make an appointment with your nutritionist and start eating healthy now. By the way, there's a whole chapter about maintaining a healthy diet in my self-help book. Buy a copy signed by yours truly right next to the stage. And now let me grant our winner the victory certificates signed by yours truly. Dearest winner, now is your turn to sign the certificates. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. What a beautiful signature! Oh, thank you. Not the claw writing expected from those tiny arms of yours. Rude. Tomorrow, a tiny sum of prize money will be transferred to the winner's account. He deserves it. The festival's official part is over. Thank you for attending, everyone. See you at the next SciTech Festival next year. Yay! Applause! While the contestants are packing up their tools, please come to the main tent. Enjoy an exciting entertainment program, performing primates and board games. And of course, yours truly, Rob Troy Jobson. Sorry. See you there. Good lord. It's time to pack up my tools. <sighs> Congratulations. Chris, I have an amazing offer for you. I was totally amazed by your engineering skills. So, I'm offering you a job in my Zawotech branch. With your skills... We're going to move mountains. What do you say? You mean the branch where a temperature module squeezes life out of your employees? Oh. My dear Chris, you need a broader outlook than this. It's just temporary measures until we climb to the top to the performance ratings. And then everyone will be happy. We'll... Well, hit me up if you change your mind. Together. We'll take on the world. You helped me with this mechanical stuff when I asked? I owe you one. That said, I'm planning to promote my books in the weeks ahead, so I'm afraid I won't have time for you. It's nothing personal. Did you really have to be such a meddling jerk? What do you mean? Why the heck did you push me about my divorce and the way I treat people the other day? What are you talking about? I wasn't pushing you or anything. Yeah, right. Look, you just don't get it. Sure, whatever. What's with the deadpan face? Look, it's about time I gave you a reality check. I was too scared to do that before. Boo! I can tell you're not as happy as you're pretending to be. Maybe it's time for you to think about it. Nah, what a load of nonsense. No, Roy. It'd be great if you stopped being a hypocrite for once and admit it. Admit it that you're just trying to show off, dragging others down to feel superior. Does it really make you happier? Make you feel better about yourself? You know what? 
Yeah. Um. Look, I'm not going to push this any further. So chill. I just needed to get this, the truth off my chest. Don't. I. I gotta go. Bye. That was the first time I spoke my mind freely to him. Well, not really. I doubt what I said hit the spot, but who knows? Maybe we'll finally snap out of it. It's odd, but sometimes you gotta be tough on people to make them hear you. Alright, I gotta pack up now. There, all packed up and ready to go. It's time to leave. Where do you think you're going, bro? We still need to hang out! There's so much fun to be had in that tent over there. Time to celebrate your victory. You did fantastic, bro! Yeah, I gave it my all. I just need to wait for my grand prize money to arrive. Oh, is it? So it's your treat? Of course! It's gonna be a huge feast! Oh, yeah! Congratulations on your win. Oh, is the new acquaintance of yours, Chris? Something like that. Matrix. My name's Justin. There's one more player in space. Sounds great. Space. I'll pass. Thanks. I'm not that much of a nerd. Are you saying you're too cool for that? Not really. It's just that I've outgrown that kind of entertainment. Don't worry about it. If there's one thing we know, it's... Oh god, I don't know. I don't want to push it with her. I don't think I need to. Alright, we won't push it. How dare you miss out on engaging your company, Chris? Come on, Chris, let's... Tricks, let's go! I'll make sure it's gonna be fun. I said not to push it. Oh, well, hello. What? They seem passionate enough, you know. Maybe it's not gonna suck as much as I thought. Let's give it a try. Awesome! Let's get Sai to join it too. Space is more fun with four players. Come on, bro! Oh, the festival was intense. I'm exhausted. I'll have a nap on the way home. Uh-oh. Can I do this later? I cannot. Okay. Hey, no food splashing! It's no fair! Who told you that? Your mommy? Careful, it's a jellyfish! Let me help you! Hey! I want you to pick it up and pet it, you know? But it stings! It's a baby jellyfish, they don't sting! What if you're allergic to them? Ah, oh, Chris! Protecting me all the time. I just wanted to help. They didn't get to pet the jellyfish. Oh well. Let's go home. Was this his Was it his sister? Was day eight? Or is it day eight? I can't remember. <sighs> I just saved. I just saw it save. So we'll continue this next week. Cause tonight I promised Rimworld. But yeah, I definitely want to play more of this. This looks super fun.
Also, don't forget, we have a giveaway. You have to enter it quick, because otherwise, it's gone. <laughs> mm. And the winner is, or winners actually.